in 2026, Iran claims it has developed one of the most capable air defense networks in the Middle East. A layered grid combining imported Russian technology, homegrown systems like the Bavar 373, and newer short-range defenses. But how strong is this web of radars and missiles in reality? Can it truly protect Iran's airspace against advanced threats, or is there a gap between claims and capabilities? Today we decode the evolution of Iran's air defense, from Soviet legacy systems to indigenous design, and we separate fact from overstatement. Iran's air defense story in the modern era begins not domestically, but with Russia. In 2016, Tehran received S-300 surface-to-air missile systems from Moscow, a sophisticated mobile SAM designed to track and engage aircraft and missile threats at long ranges. The S-300 is capable of detecting aerial targets, engaging aircraft, cruise missiles and some ballistic missiles, providing a foundational long-range shield for critical infrastructure. It was a major boost for Iran, but even this system has limitations in 2026. Russia sold limited numbers, Israeli and Western electronic warfare can reduce effectiveness, advanced stealth targets remain challenging. In fact, analysts in past regional conflicts have reported that parts of Iran's air defense were damaged during clashes, including systems like the S-300. Tehran responded by replacing or repositioning systems from stored reserves, rather than importing new ones. So while the S-300 is real and capable, it is not a flawless shield, especially against the most advanced adversaries. To reduce reliance on foreign systems and build more autonomy, Iran developed its flagship homegrown long-range air defense system, the Bavar 373. Iran claims the system rivals or even surpasses legacy S-300 systems and approaches the performance of the Russian S-400 in some respects, with range and altitude capabilities tailored for Iranian defense requirements. Bavar 373 highlights include long-range engagement capability, claimed over 300 kilometers, designed to intercept aircraft, missiles and drones, integrated with new radar and command networks, use of Iranian-made missiles like Sayyad 4B. Indeed, in air defense drills, Bavar 373 has been shown firing interceptors at simulated high-altitude targets, demonstrating what Tehran asserts is an ability to engage long-range threats. However, Verification remains limited outside of Iranian reporting. Independent assessments of actual combat performance, especially against stealth or hypersonic targets, are scarce and should be treated with caution. Iran does not treat these systems as entirely separate. In one military exercise, the Iranian Air Defense Force claimed it integrated components of the Russian-made S-300 with its Bavar 373 architecture using shared radar arrays and command links to coordinate engagements. This means, S-300 radars help extend surveillance feed, Bavar 373 command units coordinate launch decisions, systems work in tandem rather than isolation. This layered network defense approach, often called multi-layer air defense, increases redundancy, making it harder to saturate all sensor and shooter nodes at once. 